say he's, she's controlling? Tell she's me about that. She's very controlling. I mean, she has a list of rules for me. He has dumb rules. You have a, you yes. have a name wow. for them. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. your first really? rule yes. is, I must give Kia passwords to all my private accounts. All Absolutely. Of my is that accounts. accurate? That's accurate. I must clean the house every day, even if the house is clean. Is that true? Tell me he made that up. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Kia and Jeff have been a loving couple for the past five years. They both dreamed that someday they would marry and raise children together. But now that dream seems a cruel mirage. She, she cheated on me before, you know? And I, to this day, you know, I mean, it, it still hurts me in my heart a little bit, but I don't bring it up as much, you understand what I'm saying? Because I let bygones be bygones, but I feel like, you know, if, if you cheated on me, then, you know, why, why are you Honor, up here, you know, giving me all this back about you? cheated on me you? plenty of times, so I don't see no. me doing it once shouldn't be a problem. Both Kia and Jeff say they no longer believe in their dream and are ready to call it quits. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Kia Greenway and Jeff Chapman. Mr. Chapman and Ms. Greenway have been living together for the past four years. You do not want to live together anymore. You are here for a dissolution of cohabitation. I will start, before we talk about the financial matters uh, involved in that, I'm going to start with Ms. Greenway and ask you to tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're in divorce court here today. Okay, Judge. I'm here today because Jeff is always disappearing. Last Christmas, Jeff was gone for 10 days, Your Honor, and his excuse was he was out to get money so he can buy me presents for Christmas. Uh-huh. Another time... No, I was. Hang no. on, hang on. Just, just take and a minute. another time, How Your long Honor, was he gone? He was gone for 10 days. 10 days? 10 days. You were looking for presents for 10 days? Mm. Oh, I, was, I was actually out working. I was actually out working. And at the end of the 10 days, what happened? She came but home, came home, Your Christmas Honor, tree full of presents he just He couldn't at least call, Your Honor. He didn't even call the whole time he was out for the 10 oh. days. Okay, well, go another ahead. Another story, Your Honor, um, let me tell you. Jeff had, um, one time he was gone for three days. And mm -hmm. while he's out, like, he never calls me, and... I do call you. You don't Hang call Hang on, Mr. Chapman. Go and ahead. And he never calls me, and so I'm like, I, I don't understand, like, why don't you call when you're out? And his excuse is, well, if I call you, I know you're gonna cuss me out. Well, absolutely, I'm gonna she cuss does. you out, because, you know, we haven't talked for three days, so when you come through the door, I'm not supposed to be lovey-dovey with him. Now, Mr. Chapman, why don't you just call? I do call, Your Honor, but every time I call, you know, she's always, oh, well, where are you at? Well, why, why, how, why are you over there for so long and all this? And I'm like, well, what, I have to find, Honor, you know, any, anything that I can do, you know, to help advise, so that's what I'm out there doing, you know? So, and in the middle, in the middle of her calling me, I'm sitting here telling her, well, this is what I'm out here working, babe. I'm out here, like, you know, trying to bring something home to you. Well, you need, don't worry about that. Just come on home. You can just come here and stay here. And I'm like. Yeah. Well, okay, well, how well, What kind of work do you do that you can't come uh, home at, right. the end, at, at some point during the day? Well, I do come right. home, Your Honor. I just don't come home all the Your time because I, I don't he like coming home to arguing. I just don't come home all the time I don't, I don't, because... I don't like coming home arguing. You know, because I'll come home, when then there's a million more questions, you, you know what I'm saying, about... When you come home, it is going to be an argument, Your Honor. Right, 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 right. I mean, it's a vicious cycle now, so you're never going to... Right. You're never going to have that resolve. That, um... You say when you kicked him out, he ended up living with a girl. Absolutely, Your Honor. Oh. Yes, this was about two years ago, Your Honor. I kicked him out, and, I mean, I was telling him I would rather you live on the streets than live with the female. I mean, I know it's harsh, but that's the way I was feeling, Your Who Honor. Who says that? And so Who says he that? ends up... Um, you got some wildness going on with your <laughs> head. You look like Pippi Longstock. Now, I'm sorry. I just had to mention no. that. It was, it was, and it so, was Your Honor, me. like, I end up... Um, he invites me over to the house, and I get there, uh -huh. and there's lavender candles, there's uh, spray, lavender spray, girly purses, and he tells me that... The boy that he's staying with, his girlfriend left his stuff at the house, Your Honor. Okay. 
Really? I mean, I mean, you know, I, did, 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 is that I what happened? Was, I knew she was gonna blow up everybody. You know, me and the girl, but, we, we don't have any relations at all. We were just real good friends, you know. And instead of me being on the street, she offered me a place to stay, you know, because I was working but at the time. Your honor. So I, I, but you know, when you put a person out of the house, don't you kind of lose the ability and the right to tell them where to put them? I don't feel that way, your that's honor. That's what I thought. I don't. <laughs> that's what I, I thought. I don't feel man. that way. <laughs> I really don't. But what does putting him out mean to you in your mind? I mean, what? is it like... Yeah, let him know that. Like, okay. is, he, is he on okay. time out? Is he... I don't understand. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Um, wow. When I put him out, I expect for him to operate like we're still in a relationship. He's just not in the house. I can't operate on the streets. I really? I yes, can't operate on I the streets. Really do. Come on. I do. You Come really on, do? I really do. Who thinks I like don't that? have a problem. I don't who, see what the who, problem who is. It's positively like absurd. Yeah, you know, she, she cheated on me before, you know? And I, to this day, you know, I mean, it, it still hurts me in my heart a little bit, but I don't bring it up as much, you understand what I'm saying? Because I let bygones it, be bygones, but I feel like, you know, if, if you cheated on me, then, you know, why, why are you honor, up here, you know, giving me all this backfire about you? cheated on me you know? plenty of times, so I don't see no. me doing it once shouldn't be a problem. Once, once, Whoa. once. Once? Twice. Twice. When was the second time? So when, when I went to New York, mm -hmm. I went to New York. You cheated then. The time, the time, um, I got, I got in trouble with the law. I was gone for a couple weeks. You know, could do some traffic uh -huh. tickets. I came home, Your Honor. Another she, guy in there. Yeah, she cheated on me. Is that with, right? With Ms. an Greenway? old high school yeah, friend uh, that I it, been knew about. You know, yeah. I was asked questions. Well, he's just a friend. So he's Ms. just Greenway, a friend. So, Miss Greenway, what do you? I, I don't understand. I mean, you two. She can do her. Day, get but together, I can't. part. See other people get back together part. How can you be so controlling of his behavior when you're doing the same thing? But I mean, I, I'm I'm only human, Your Honor. Like him disappearing and a lot of stuff that Jeff does, like he's emotion emotionally, he's not there for me. And so at that particular time, I didn't see a, a reason. I didn't feel bad about doing it, Your Honor. When I did sleep with the the guy, I didn't even feel guilty. When divorce court continues, can Kia convince the judge her rules are justified? Well, let's go to rule number three of Kia's dumb rules. It says, I'm only allowed to watch TV with Kia and only the shows she likes. I'm telling you now. Your Is honor. that true? Tell me he made that up. If you're a gay couple, married or cohabitating, and you're ready to split up, Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Jeff Chapman, who says he wants to part ways with his live-in girlfriend of five years because she is a cheater. And later, Jeff drops a bombshell. Mr. Chapman, you have something you want to say to her. Oh. You say he's, she's controlling. Tell she's me about that. She's very controlling. I mean, she has a list of rules for me. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That rules, I follow. Rules about what? I, I, have, I have a list for you right here. OK. I have a list for you right here, Your Honor. One time, I wanted to go to the studio with my cousin, you know? in order to um, help build a website well, for well, him now, and everything. Now, wait a minute. I'm confused. Bring me the list, Joe. Oh, here's the list. I got I'm sorry, Joe. I'm running you around. Keisha's dumb, Kia's dumb rules. You have a, you yes, have a name wow. for them. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. your first really? rule yes. is, I must give Kia passwords to all my private accounts. All Absolutely. Of my is accounts. that accurate? That's accurate because I pay the bills, Your Honor, and if I'm at work and he's on the computer, I need to know what he's doing when privacy. I'm not at work. I need my privacy, though. I, I don't, you know, I don't check your stuff but like that, when, you know? Okay, I mean, well, let's, let's go on to rule number two. Rule number two. I must clean the house every day, even if the house is clean. If it's not clean by the time she comes home from work, Your Honor, oh, I might as well get ready to pack my bag. I'm gonna tell you that <laughs> yeah. now. Now, do you understand? And I, you know, I think she's a little, you know, off the beam on some of this stuff. But, but if uh, you're not working, yes, and I understand. You know, clean house, not too much to expect, is it? Not too much to expect, but not when you're doing it every day and it's not your mess. Kia comes in the house, first thing she does is take off all her clothes. I mean, don't get me but wrong, I like her. it and everything, you know, but, but the clothes stay right there in the middle of the floor. Okay. You know, she gets finished I eating. Mean, I you, came, know, I, you know, I came from a very traditional family and my father picked up nothing. 
because he did the work and mom did the and when it turns around it, it can't be the other way i don't I mean, know i'm not saying i'm Maybe not saying not. that it can't be the other way but i'm constantly cooking i'm constantly cleaning every honored. day and if yeah. i don't you know then i get i get fussed at but i get fussed and i'll be like well my well, at mom least... cooked and cleaned every day okay, well, at in least fact takes... i cook and clean every day and <laughs> like, i got a job i just feel like she needs to take some of the pressure off me sometimes but you, you I know mean, because if i'm paying the bills I'm not, what pressure Well, is let's there? go to rule number three of Kia's dumb rules. It says, I'm only allowed to watch TV with Kia and only the shows she likes. I'm telling you now. Is honor. that true? Tell me he made that up. No. No, he, no that's, 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 not that's, at all. That's why right. is he not, <laughs> not permitted to watch television on his own? He can watch television on his own, Your Honor, but sometimes I just want him to watch TV with me. That's what do you ever he, watch what, what he wants to watch? I don't like to watch no. what he likes to watch. He doesn't like no. to watch what you want to watch no. either. It I've is. watched an awful lot of She doesn't know how to compromise at all. I do know how to compromise. It's either it's Kia's way or the highway, I'm telling you. Rule number four of Kia's dumb rules. I must stick to my 2 a.m. curfew. You have a curfew. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Does he have a curfew? <laughs> and I, I, had he to fight. Does I had to fight for the two hours. He, when he goes out, he doesn't come home. So, yeah, I would like him to be in at a certain time, Your Honor. And if I'm not in at a certain time, Your Honor, I'm telling you, Everybody that she knows, every, my, all of my family members, I all of my friends, call every, everybody. every last one of them. I call everybody. Every last one of them. Mr. Mr. Chapman, you know, it's ridiculous, that rule, no doubt about it. But I will say this, though, you do tend to wander off. Because don't I, I don't like to argue. I don't like to argue. If, if I feel like, you know, I have to come home, you know, I, if, I, if I'm out there trying to make a way for, for us, you know what I'm saying? If I have to come home to an argument about, you know... You just rather my, not my, come home I just at all. Rather not the reason, Your all, Honor, it's an period. argument is because when he finally does come home two, three days later, he wants me to be lovey-dovey with him. And, and I, you're I, upset and with him because he's like, home. Exactly. I got it. You should so be proud you of my call me while you're out, you won't have a problem. I can only have male friends. Yes. Uh, Why? He's not allowed to have female mm. friends? No, ma'am. Do you have male friends? Absolutely. Uh, so why, uh, why the uh, double standard? Because I know how to be a friend, and that's it, and Jeffrey doesn't. Yes, I but do. But you've cheated on him a couple of uh, times. I mean, yeah, I have cheated on him. And that's a real him. good friend for you, huh? Yeah. And that's so a real good that, friend. Does that not prove that you do not indeed know how to be a friend and nothing more? No, I do know how to be a friend, but Jeffrey and his Constantly taking friends numbers. and wanting to be... He's all he's really friendly with women, and... Because I'm like a big brother, too. I have a I lot mean, of female but friends. No, you know, I'm they, sorry. They and then whenever we have, like, situations... And so I, I help them out. I'm like a big brother. I have a whole lot of female friends, but and I can't And the last of Kia's dumb rules is number six, which says... If I get a cell phone, I must check in with Kia four times a day. And if I don't, she's gonna, she'll take the phone. She'll yeah. take the phone from me. When Divorce Court continues. He had a watch, Your Honor. Now, yes. get a load of this. One day I noticed that there was like videos. He was watching a video on his watch. You remember your watch? Your Honor, he had porn on his watch. What are you doing <laughs> watching porn? while you're out handling was, business. That was really fun. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Kia Greenway who has a list of rules she demands her boyfriend follow in order to date her. But do the rules work? How's this been going for you? Got your little rules together? <laughs> you got all of your demands it's... and whatnot? Man, don't come home. He doesn't have a job. Right. I mean, where is this getting you? He's cheated. Nowhere, really. I mean, that's why we're here. Why do you continue to do something that doesn't work? Because I'm a good man. I'm a good man, and she knows it, Your Honor. It's Your nothing, Honor, it's nothing that I won't do for her. He, at you one time, um, I don't, I don't get the same respect. He at had a uh, watch, Your Honor. Now, yes. get a load of this. What? Okay, the watch. It was a pretty cool watch, but one day I noticed that there was like videos. He was watching the video on his watch. You remember your watch? <laughs> your Honor, he had porn on his watch. What are you doing <laughs> watching porn while you're out that handling was, business? That was really for, that I was mean, really for really show, show. I mean, really, Your Honor. That was really for show, show. He you also know, had not... X. I mean, 
it so was, you, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute, though. Yes. I started. You had a video watched with pornography on it? I had pictures. So you could go down the street and look at <laughs> yes. some, some people. He did. I, I really had it for a show for a lot of my friends, no, you know, did, to show Your the Honor, video part Because he also of, had a cell phone. How big was the watch? It was about my biggest dish right here, you know, about the same size as the face. And, and how do you do, you do you stream the porn? No, you can, I actually um, upload them onto the watch from and the Your computer. Honor, just like you want all of that work. Them on? And you can upload pictures, music, videos, Onto everything. a porn watch. And it's not no, even, it's, it's Your Honor, <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, it's not it's even just, just it's, it's a not even watch. the watch. He had a cell phone one time, and um, I'm looking through the pictures, and there's X-rated pictures in the cell phone. So I ask him, hold uh, on, no. I, so I, I ask him, oh, like, no. where, what are these pictures from? And you know what he tells me, Your Honor? <laughs> what? Um, when I purchased the phone, the owner forgot to delete the pictures. It, hey, it what? was I, it was a, a used new phone? phone. No, it right. was a used phone Whatever. from the Metro store, Your Honor. Whatever. And instead of instead of them taking out the memory card well, that was inside of the phone, right. you know, when I got the phone, the memory card was still in there, and I didn't delete any. You Your know, Honor, I didn't like deleting the pictures. Even okay, let's say if it was the old, yeah, the condom was in the car when I bought it. <laughs> when Divorce Court continues, what secret is Jeff hiding? Mr. Chapman, you have something you want to say to her. Oh. Divorce Court returns with the case of Kia Greenwade and Jeff Chapman, who are dissolving their five-year relationship. Mr. Chapman, you have something you want to say to her. Oh. I just... I just really feel like like you, you you emasculate me a whole lot and it it takes a whole lot for me you know to continue to be with you because I feel like you control me too much and I can't I can't become a full potential I can't really be a man you know with you trying to control me like that and, and that, I, that like I, that hurts me a whole lot it does and Ms. Greenway lot. do you have a response to Mr. Chapman I mean, I, I understand I'm sorry I don't mean to control you but it's I heard just that before. I don't. I don't mean to control you, but you know, like in the past, if you say that you're looking for a job, oh. but if I look in the history, you're on Facebook more than you're looking for actual jobs. So that's why I am more hard on you, because I just feel like you're not really taking it serious. All right. Like, why don't you tell help. me about the money that you want? All right, Judge. You want four hundred and seventy-four dollars from Mr. Chapman. Because you say that's his half of the electric yes, bill. Yes, I do. I submitted the evidence to the court. So have you put that's him out bill. again? Um, no, I haven't put him out. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. No. <laughs> I'll tell you. I haven't. But yeah, as you see, Judge, this is a bill. When I'm at work working, $149 for one month. Uh-huh. I'm not at home using up the electricity. So, like... I mean, I'm, I, all I want but is where half. where do you get the $474 from? Because you know, it's half, $149 a month, and I just want half of that for six months. So it's $474. Okay, what do you have That's to say all about I'm the asking. electric bill? I don't Mr. believe Mr. I owe Chapman. anything for the electric bill because she forces me to stay there. You understand? I force you, you to force, stay there. All she wants me to do is stay at home, put in resumes, and call jobs back right. all day long. You know, but when I go out, it's a problem it's then. A problem. It's right. a problem. But yeah. she always wants me in the house, so that's why the electric bill is like that. M Mrs. Greenway, let me say this to you. He don't come home because he don't want to come home, because you just a pain. You're hard to deal with. <laughs> You got I a whole think I'm a pain. You're annoying. You you cheat on him. You tell him what to do. You want a little little Ken doll stick figure dude that you can tell <laughs> no, what to do no, and I where to go. I don't think so, and that's Your why Honor. he doesn't come back. He, he goes and he said, Oh, phew, I'm out of the house. I can't take it. Gets ten days, gets his courage back together, and he comes on <laughs> back home. I mean, that's I, what don't, it is. I don't think that's so. Exactly I agree. I disagree. If I, I were you, I would kick Pippi Long stocking over there to the curb. <laughs> I'd go find myself a job and step forward with my life. No, and you don't have someone in neck, 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 picking at your no. back of your head all the time. If he like does that. what he has to do, you then I won't get a job and get to moving. But you will do so without any money. You guys in an arrangement, a deal. He's cooking, he's cleaning, he's doing his part. That's the, you know, that's what he gives to the household. That's the arrangement you made. That's what you get. There will be no recovery. It is so ordered. All right. Unbelievable. Parties, we leave the courtroom. Kia and Jeff are still together, even though Jeff isn't home. In fact, he hasn't been home in the last 12 days. Kia says he is staying with friends and he has a job, but she hasn't heard from him, and that's almost made them break up. 
Kia says that Judge Lynn's approval of Jeff made him feel he wasn't doing anything wrong. Kia wants to go to counseling, but Jeff hasn't been home.